Hi everybody, Dan Ullman here with the DRF race of the day for Monday, August the 15th. It's race number three at Assiniboia Downs. It kicks off the 20 cent ASD jackpot pick five with carryover potential and it's a nice stakes race for two year olds. The CTHS sales stakes. Want to view free formulator pass performances for this race? Head to the race of the day page at DRF.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the Daily Racing Form YouTube channel and bet this card with DRF Bets. Let's take a look at this field. $40,000 is the purse for the CTHS sales. And again, it does kick off that 20 cent ASD jackpot pick five with carryover potential. And race number four at the downs is the opening leg of the very popular pick four wager with a $50,000 guaranteed pool. Uh, this is a nice race because you've got a couple of strong fillies in here, including the morning line favorite, the number three, Lady Cop, who's seven to five on the morning line. She's perfect from two stars. Number one, Russian Pearl just missed her last time out and seems to be on the improve. And they'll take on a very impressive debut winner, the Gelding, the number four, I Love My Life. We'll begin our analysis with the one Russian Pearl, still a maiden after two starts. She chased Lady Cop in both of those races, and I thought she ran well both times. In her debut, it seemed like she caught a speed-friendly track. Lady Cop, as we know, has a lot of early speed, and Russian Pearl just couldn't keep up with her in the early going of that race. But I love the way that she rallied against the track to get up for second. She showed quality in that start. And what I like most about her performance in the debutante, not only was she extremely game to battle Lady Cop all the way down to the wire before dropping a dirty nose decision, but she showed much improved early interest. Lady Cop went to the lead. Russian Pearl was right on top of her after an opening quarter mile. She lost a little bit of ground on the turn as Lady Cop tried to slip away, but Russian Pearl was resolute. She came on the outside. She just missed. And you can argue one more stride or maybe a better bob and Russell Pearl would come into this race as a stakes winner and not a maiden. I think Russian Pearl's going to appreciate stretching out from the five furlong of the debutante to this six furlong distance, especially if Lady Cop and the four I Love My Life hook up in an early and protracted pace duel. Russian Pearl might be sitting just off the leaders and ready to strike and four to one on the morning line seems like a fair price. The number two is Private Frank and this is a first time starter and it's a big ask for a first time starter to take on any experienced horse, let alone stakes winners and courses that have shown a lot of quality. Private Frank, however, does have a very precocious pedigree. The sire connects with 14% of juvenile debut runners and one of Private Frank half siblings. A horse by the name of Spanky's Bourbon actually won this race as a two-year-old a few years ago. Private Frank shows some solid workouts for this debut. I won't be surprised if he's quick out of the gate. It just seems like a tough ask. I'm going to take a wait and see approach. The three is Lady Cop. We're going to watch Lady Cop's effort in the debutante defeated Russian Pearl. This is her second lifetime start. She's two for two. She turns into the stretch with the lead. And as a big favorite, we're expecting Lady Cop to draw off, but Russian Pearl said no. She fought all the way down to the wire. Lady Cop got there by a neck. Very respectable 60 buyer speed figure for this filly. She beat males in her career debut. And Lady Cop is the kind of filly that might be the speed of the speed. She certainly draws inside the other speed of this race. I think there has to be a little bit of a concern about her stretching out from five eighths of a mile to three quarters, but her speed will have her right in the thick of things when the field turns into the stretch. The number four is I Love My Life. Now, I Love My Life debuted in a race with only three other horses, and she was seven to two, kind of a tepid choice in that race. She didn't have the quickest first step out of the gate, but she soon assumed command from the inside and turning into the stretch. This is a very visually impressive performance. You watch I Love My Life just draw away. The jockey is merely a passenger. Uh, he wins very easily, and the 58 buyer speed figure is respectable. Now, watching that debut, he isn't as fast out of the gate as Lady Cop. And there's a chance he could be put on a hard chase in this race, certainly a tougher pace situation than what he faced 
when in against those three other horses in his maiden. But this horse, I think, has some ability. And again, he's taking on a couple of fillies that have had some hard races. He might have a little bit more upside at this point. The number five is Double Barrel Delight. Now, Double Barrel Delight's lost to a couple of these horses already. She was beaten by Lady Cop in the career. He, he, she was beaten by Lady Cop in the career debut. I thought she had a good trip that day. Again, the track seemed to be favoring speed, but she was sitting just off a duel and she really couldn't make up much late ground. And last time out, I Love My Life just dominated her, beaten her by almost 11 lengths. Double Barrel Delight needs to step it up a little bit, but she would benefit if this pace is explosive up front and it comes back. Perhaps Double Barrel Delight can sneak into your single race exotics. Completing the field is the number six, that's Carpoquette, who was third in the career debut. Carpoquette, I thought, ran a pretty decent race that day because showed good speed, battled down along the inside, which is never a, a, a comfortable spot for a first-time starter, and then he got tired in that race. But that field has come back pretty good. The runner-up returned to finish third with a 52-buyer speed figure uh, in a stakes race. I think Carpoquette... Uh, is an interesting horse with blinkers on. He's going to be sharp leaving the stalls. I don't believe he's as fast as Lady Cop. I don't believe he's as fast as I Love My Life, but I can see him parked out sort of in a three-wide tracking trip clear of traffic and maybe making a run on the turn to get into contention. He's a big price on the board at 12 to 1, and maybe it's just too early to give up on a horse like the six, Carpaquette. Before I get to my top selections, please click on the subscribe button on the Daily Racing Form YouTube channel for all the latest DRF TV video offerings. Now it's top pick time for the first leg of the 20 cent ASD jackpot pick five. Lady Cop's going to be tough, but I do think that I Love My Life has some innate ability. Didn't break well in the debut, rushed up. I know it was only against three other horses, but you watch the replay. It was very visually impressive. The race came back fast. He draws outside the other speed, and he might be in prime position to strike. I do respect Lady Cop. I'm a little concerned about her stretching out to the six. Russian Pearl might be the price play at four to one on the morning line because she seems to be improving with each and every start. Fun stakes action at the Downs on Monday. Again, you've got the $50,000 guaranteed pick four pool later on in the card. This race kicks off the 20 cent ASD jackpot pick five. Good luck.